Okay, hello everyone. Today we start a new lesson. It's a unit nine. Krom ngoi. So uh, krom ngoi is scholar, or we can say knowledge person of a Cambodian citizen. It's a legacy right, of Cambodian and also uh, very famous at that time. So uh, in our review, we will know about his background and also his achievement for Cambodian people at that time. Okay, before we start, let's go to our vocabulary first. Please uh, oh, and uh, get your book or get your paper out. As a legacy is an amount of money or property left to someone a will. You can say in her take or bequest some treasure that uh, your pardon or somebody that give it to you when they pass away. So what is it, man? Yeah, we could get a very good dog. Example here, Bethan tell the family that they are about to inherit a legacy from a relative. Okay, era is a long and distant period of history. We can say that age or time in the time, in the era, especially in the past. So what is it, man? Yeah, some money too. Okay. As well, his death mark in the end of an, an era. For uh, King Jacob Max of an era, this is what we call or age. Uh, lineage, in other words, is a direct descent from ancestor, ancestry, or pedigree. We can say uh, forefather, clan, descent. Right? The, the person that is your next, uh, your next generation or your old generation come from very far away. What was it, man? Yeah, pull, pull the call. Example here, there are lineage family and lineage is a key element in Zen training, especially Ch China. Chinese person, Chinese they uh, usually have their their surname, for example, Yang, Yang all the time. When they are the old ancestor, forefather, or the next generation, this is what we call lineage. Now one is poetry, literacy work in which the expression of feeling and idea is given. Intensity by the use of distinctive style or rhythm form collectively as a genre of literature. We can say uh, poem, right? Yeah, so what is it? What? What? Come very good. Come now. You can say cả bài nít phun, right? Yeah, how to read the same poem, right? The verb, the verb of poem. Uh, example here, he is chiefly famous for his. Love poetry. In the past, if uh, the poetry, right, uh, we can say uh, poem, we just like the, the the weapon. They can use to attack another body, right? We very sharp than the, the weapon of uh, our real one, not sword, light sword, right? Because it can kill the people at that time. Nowadays, it's just less. But it's still, you see, the poetry, the word from the leader of one authority country, right? One they can kill the people, just like Soviet nowadays, you can see the world. It's more than the weapon. It's dangerous because they have the power. Okay, another word is affectionately adverb in a way that display fondness or tenderness. We can say uh, fondly, lovely. Right? You do something with, with the love. Yeah, the grace line. Without it, you cannot do anything, right? It is uh, the, the good, the good that, that you do. When you do more, it will help you uh, to uh, feel happy. It's not love about the uh, the man, the man and woman, right? It's just love generally. It's not talking about that. It's not keep for a long time, but love generally for all you human living, uh, living thing. The love that is uh, stay still forever is love without getting any, without want anything back. You just love them. Just like your parents. Example: the father heard their story, ponder the matter, and then look at them affectionately. Okay, excel, be exceptional, good at a profession, in activity or subject. You can say stand out exists. Example: this this is a stand out student in our class. That means he exists or he uh, excel every subject. He got the number one in rank. Right? So in command. Yeah, very good. Okay. Example: He excel at landscape painting. Okay. Novice, a person who has entered a religious order or is under probation. We can say a beginner or initiate. Why is it, man? Yeah, look, man. I just started. 
before before taking vow. Okay. Example: whether novice man will resign from their identity now. Okay. Or then make someone a priest or minister confer holy order on. We can say uh, enact when somebody go to uh, to become a man, right? Or become a the prime minister the first time. We can say uh, order. So what is it, man? Bull, right? Or we can say change uh, right? If you become the uh, minister at the first time, it has too many. Example here, he was ordained a minister before entering parliament. Okay, take a while right, before. Another word is uh, treasury, the fund or revenue of a state, institute or society. You can say fund right, or money in the bank that you have, you keep in fine. Yeah, from the night of the Nike, right, talking about the bank. Example here, the land donor estate and the set versus for imperial treasury. Another word is hypnotize. Okay. Hypnotize capture the whole attention of someone. Fascinate. We can say charm, fascinate, or captive. Captivate, right? Example, someone uh, means uh, he's good at speaking to make an album, the water track what he said, right? So, in the plan, yes, in the here. I was hypnotized by the rhythm of his politeness, right? Okay, just like Tom Tiu, you see? Tom is very, very hypnotized at Mick Tiu. So, uh, fall in love with him. This is uh, our, I mean, our wall, right? But another wall is uh, the Dharma, they don't talk about that. Love boy and girl is just a uh, very, very private, only thing about yourself. But love, the universe, is never ending. It's very broad. Just like uh, another, uh, another uh, leader, right? All the leaders of the riches, they just love the universe. Okay, and uh, no, no, they are, they, are, they are paper, right? This is my paper. Okay, uh, let's start. Krom uh, uh, was born in 1865 at Kampo Khamenyum, Kanda province. He died in 1936 because of ill. So he is in Kampo Khamenyum, Kanda province. And also he is uh, more than 70 years. At that time, the people, uh, the average is uh, 80 up, right, for their, their age. So uh, not like nowadays, it's not come like that. So seven, more than 70, he died because of ill. And uh, Kampo excelled at literature and poetry. He studied your right, right, poetry. He was a talented poem who has the ability to remember many ancient stories, both religious and non religious. He was married to Mrs. Ng and had six sons. He had one grandson who inherited his poetry. His grandson now became the Ajay singer, and his name is Nils Loy, Mr. Lin. We can say he's good at uh, poetry and literature if you uh, excel in. How do you have to be good at literature? Because talking about the literature, right? everything, and also he's a uh, have six six uh, children, right? And his grandson, only one they have uh, talented from him. We call Nick Slack, right? Mister Mister Slack, Mister Lee, right? Okay, so we finish and we will go in our book. Anything you, you wonder, you can ask whatever that related to the uh, lesson that we studied today. Come on, thank you.